Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to G Labs. So this is a new series where we're going to be taking a look at some of the mods in Gary's mod. So we're here right now in the canteen. It's very nice. There's a little keyboard up here. Very cool. We're not here to look at the canteen. We're actually going to be looking at some cool mods today. I'm going to take you around the, the laboratories and the labs here and just show you around. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. So there are lots of people that work here and do many, many things. Uh, it's mostly research and investigation into sort of unknown uh, sort of things that happen around the world. We're the first port of call when it comes to strange anomalies and uh, and this poor guy here. They're all loaded with guns. It's a high-tech environment down here. So this is one of the research departments that I tend to work in a lot. There's lots of gizmos and gadgets lying about, so don't worry about it. But you can see, like, you know, cool guns. I mean, that's pretty damn cool. Look at that. Now, for us to test all these cool mods, we have to go into what we call a virtual reality system. Um, we've been making these machines that can basically project really cool kind of um, test environments digitally. So just to let you know how this works is basically we have these little, we're calling these energy cores at the moment to keep uh, it simple. Crystallize energy compacts which hold an insane amount of energy. And we've, we've managed to, to develop try and find a way to pull the energy out of these cores. So we've developed these oh, little V952s. Basically what we are able to do is break down the crystals it. inside and it releases all the energy and we can hook up all the wires. It can disperse them out and put them through wires and produce an insane amount of electricity. This is actually an empty one, that but um, I'm going to actually show you why this is all relevant. So just follow me. Follow me. So we have a few people working on some stuff over here. This is like where we test all the power, as you can see. I mean, let me show you these. They're testing some power. Hey guys, how's it going? How's it going? So in a second, there'll be this high voltage of power that will... There we go. So all they're doing is just testing like it's real power. But what we're trying to do at the moment, and this is, this is kind of the area that I'm working in, is making these powerful energy crystals, making them useful. Because if we can conjure this power, we can do all sorts of crazy things. And we have done some all sorts of crazy things. So what we have here is the main, well, one of the main uh, test facilities that we have for doing this digital projection. Um, now, we're, we're not going to use it just yet, but we're going to use it in a moment. We have this whole crazy setup of, these are like little pods, which are connected up to power, which is here, and then we have wires that actually connect up to a live uh, V952. Now, this what this will do is disperse a crazy amount of power into these pods, which we can actually hook up to people, um, and basically project uh, inside their minds, essentially, um, these digital environments. So we're actually going to show you how to do that now. It's pretty safe. We've got two guys chilling out back there. Hey guys, how's it going? Now there are a couple of safety precautions. Notice right here. So we need to put our mask on, which we have on us already. So let's whip that on. There we go, we got our mask on. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to sit in this pod. Um, the doors are going to shut, and then slowly steam will fill the room, and we'll essentially kind of... It's, it's, a, it's a weird sensation. You'll basically half fall asleep, but we'll be able to project these digital mind uh, visuals in our head. It's perfectly safe, so, so don't worry about that. We've used this machine before. This is the safest machine that we have. We have a few of these, and this is the most tested and the simplest. We're just using this as a training environment, essentially, to show off all the modifications and stuff that we can do. So let's get on with it. Okay, so we're currently strapped in right now, and you'll notice our head is locked into place, so we can't really move our head at all. So what's going to happen is there's going to be a siren sound, and when that siren sound starts, then suddenly smoke will start to fill the room. Well, the doors will shut first. Smoke will fill the room, and we will be kind of wiped out for a moment. So we just have to stay tight, <laughs> wait for the guys to do their thing. So the, the training we're about to go into is going to be showing off um, some of the drones that we've managed to build and we're going to be showing you through this little test facility uh, How the drones work and how they could be useful So we're going to get into that as soon as this is all set up and ready to go It's taking us time, but um, the drones are really cool 
We just have to sit tight and, uh, and wait for it to begin. Okay, here we go. This is it. Sirens are going. Hold on. We just have to relax the mind, relax the body. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Door's closing. Okay. Here it comes. Okay. Uh, okay. So it looks like it all has worked. So let's just jump out of that. Wicked. Okay. So we're here in the virtual reality. So that's great. So we actually made it. So let's just take the mask off and take a look around. So what we're going to be looking at today is drones. Now, we have set up a little, like, obstacle course kind of thing. Um, what we need to do is bring back this uh, dome. It's a very important dome. It's got military equipment in. It's important. So what we need to do is use our drones that we have in this test facility to bring it back to us. So the first drone we're going to be looking at is the Scout Drone, which is here. It's quite a small, compact little thing. It looks pretty cool. As you can see, it's got like a, like a miniature gun on the front of it. Okay, so what we need to do is, first of all, get this, which is our, our remote control drone thing. <laughs> what we can do is we need to, first of all, find a drone. And then, as you can see, hopefully, it says SF287, which means it's linked up to this drone. So I can look first person as the drone. As you can see, there's my character there. All systems off need refuel. So what I need to do is add fuel. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. The first way, and honestly probably the best way, is to use one of these fuel stations, which are here. Now you can spawn these in using the mod, and what all I need to do really is uh, pick it up and bash it against it a little bit. As you can hear now, it's making a noise. So let's get to the remote. And look, we've got a different uh, HUD in front of us here. We've got fuel 98%, HP, ammo, etc. Coordinates right there, etc, etc. Cool stuff, and look, we can move about. So it's actually now flying around, so let's move up in the air and let's scout the uh, vicinity around us. So the objective is all the way over the other side of this map, but let's just take a little scout around, make sure we can see everything. So we can actually press shift and move much faster, which is pretty cool. There's a few baddies over there. So basically, we can't get past these baddies without, well, on foot at least. I think I saw someone in, in here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of baddies in there. Jesus. So somehow we gotta get across this bridge. Oh my god, look how many people are down there. Loads of them. So we gotta get across the bridge, and then along here, and our objective is on the other side of this hill here. And there's our objective. That massive dome which is being guarded by several baddies. How many is there? There's a few. So what we're going to do, we're going to head back and get some more drones and make this possible. So the next drone we're going to be looking at is the heavy drone, which is this one here. This is Mark 1. It's got a it's got a cool machine gun on it. So let's fill it up with fuel and let's take some of these baddies out. Oh my god, this has got a flamethrower. So we're using the flame drone, in fact. I believe it was down here, and there was like five guys all inside this little bunker. Now let's see if this flamethrower actually works. Oh my god, I can see him, okay. <laughs> let's set him alight. Oh my god, they're burning. They're not doing anything, though. What's wrong with them? And it looks like... Oh my god, they're all dead. Yep, yep, they're all dead. They're all dead. So we know it definitely works. That's awesome. So next up on the list, we've got the missile drone, which is this one. This is a cool looking one. Let's add some fuel. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god, I killed a guy. Let this, these two here talk in. Oh my god. That's crazy. I think I killed them all. Oh no, there's one more over here. I see ya. That guy just got destroyed. So these missiles are super cool. And next we're going to be looking at this one. Yes, that's right, they're not all flying drones, we also get drones that are on the ground. Now with this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send him in on foot to uh, to take out that bridge where we saw like a bunch of guys. And he's got some machine guns on the top, so those are going to do a good job I reckon, so let's pick him up. Now the bridge is just on our right up here, 
but I don't think we can get a car or a, a moving land drone on top of the bridge because there's barricades. But I did see there was an underground passage just here. So let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're all dead. I just destroyed them. We spotted some more enemies. Oh my god. Consider yourself laced. Oh my god, they're all dead. Oh my god. Oh, they were looking at each other. <laughs> That's adorable. They were looking at each other. This is the uh, the important dome that we need. We just mowed down all the enemies, but this is pretty big, as you can see. So I need something. You know, I can't carry this in my hands, you know? I can't just carry this over. So I need something. Something that is going to be able to lift this bad boy up and take it back to base. But I think I have an idea. Okay, so this drone here is the uh, lifter drone. And it, uh, it pretty much does what it says on the tin. It uh, lifts things up. I've already fueled it up. But what we're going to do, this is Mark III, so this is the most improved drone that we can do. I'm going to fly over to the to the zone and see if I can pick up that massive crate and bring it back to us for a mission complete. Oh! Oh, there we go. Okay, it's doing something now. Oh my god. So yeah, it's got these blue lines, like, attaching to it, and I'm, we're picking it right up. Okay, so let's, uh, let's try and find the safest way to fly out this way. Am I still holding on to it? Oh my god, I am. Fly it over the canyons. Not a big deal. Just me, a drone, coming through. Here, right there I am. Just sitting there waiting. Okay, let's land. Okay, boom. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So we've managed to transport our very expensive and very, very valuable, I don't know, crate back to us. Good job, drone. Alright, well thank you very much everyone for watching, this has been Drones, as I said there's a lot of cool stuff with the drones, so you should check it out, as for me, I better get back to things. So see you later Drones, and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys back in the laboratory, Bye bye